Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to show you my new Batcat Cup 40R Player Series amplifier. It is the current model in August uh, 22. They're updating the Player Series, uh, but that will be for September or maybe October. This is still the current uh, model. I bought it because I've been looking at these amplifiers for a long time and they're a bit cheaper now because they're, I think, clearing out the existing stock. So it is a, a very straightforward, uh, simple amp. It's a one channel amp with a master volume. You can go to their own website or their own you know, YouTube channel where they will explain you what the different knobs are all about because they seem to interact with one another. For me as a player, I just try to find a good sound and when I got a good sound, I got a good sound. It's got a few options. There are two uh, preamp um, valves in there. You have a, a 12X7, which is quite common for a preamp, and then an EF86, uh, and those were the preamp tubes that were used, I think, in the early Fox amplifiers. For the output stage, you have two options. Uh, this is a cup 40, so it uses two ELA34 power section, and you have a 15 watt version and that one uses 85 tubes in the power amp section so that's that's your choice so a single channel amp with some options as i said now when you go to the first gain stage i told you you have the choice between the two preamps preamp tubes excuse me and for this video i decided to use just a very well-known uh, guitar it's typical strat this one is from mimosa and just consider it as being a really good uh, strat single 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 so tones you will recognize so this is the el excuse me this is the 12 x7 the preamp sort of reminds you uh, of uh, a fender amp but it's got less of that really high-end bell-like sparkle it's more full-bodied and then you can switch to the ef86 preamp tube If I isolate the tones, this is with the 86 preamp tube. And then the other one. So as you can hear the 86, and I have to look at the amp every now and again because I keep mixing up the numbers otherwise. This is the X7. This is the EF86 and you can hear there's a bit more hair, a bit more high end and a bit more uh, low end actually as well. fat switch that gives you even more punch especially in the mid-range this is with a fat switch engaged and on the 12H7 without a fat switch with and then the fat switch and the EF86 So when you engage both the fat switch and the preamp tube EF, EF86, man, those numbers, 
you're sort of in that gain territory. And since they are both sw foot switchable, I think it's uh, very handy <clears throat> in a live situation when you need that extra punch uh, uh, through the mix or that extra mid boost. You don't have to go to the amp to die in something, you just kick in uh, the right foot switch and you're there. You don't need extra pedals. This is just the guitar straight into the amp, nothing in between. So <clears throat> yeah, really useful sounds. Now the bass is uh, really uh, happening. It's a really bass heavy amp and that makes it sound really mature and in your face. It's very unforgiving for uh, bum notes. You have to know your shit when uh, you use this amp because it will throw all the music uh, right into people's faces so there's no no hiding anything. And the bass is really... You probably can't hear it there but this sound just fills the entire room the entire house. So yeah, plenty of bass. The trouble is really pokey as well. And the weird thing about the trouble is that it sounds like it should pierce your ears. It's really there, the, the highs are really cutting, but they're never painful. And this is something that I really like with these quality amps. They, they, they give you all that high frequency that you want, especially from a Strat, but it doesn't, it doesn't make your ears explode, it's all within. Musical boundaries. And now the treble is at three o'clock, which is almost full on. Then they got a built in reverb, it's a digital reverb. Does the job. The cut sort of feels like an like an extra presence. To me, and this is with the 12 AX. No, so this is with the EF86. So the most aggressive. I mean, this is way too much presence for me, but yeah, still not making your ears bleed. Now, if you turn the preamp totally fully up, you can sort of tame the total volume with the master. This is the 12AX7 without the fat boost. And then with the fat, I mean, for a single 
channel arm. That is quite impressive. So yeah, so what do I think about this amp uh, and compared to the other ones I've got? I have a, a Marshall in here, I've got a Koch, I have a Fender Princeton, an Orange. But I'm glad to say this amp sounds totally different than any of the others. It's a very powerful amp and the moment you switch it on, you, f you feel that, that, that power ready to punch you in the face. I think it's going to be a great, great gigging amp. Uh, I've tried a few pedals just before I started videoing this and it works really well with the pedals, especially when you sort of turn the amp up to a volume where it's just about to go into breakup. Then with the pedals like the Gladio from Golden Stone or the Dual Fusion from Wamper, you can sort of push it into that really smooth, warm, uh, slightly saturated overdrive uh, area. I've also tried my own Gollum, so my, my, uh, my signature pedal from MP Custom FX on high gain setting, really does the job uh, well with the amp. So with a couple of pedals and this amp, you can go a really long way. So yeah, uh, I really love it and I've only had it, so it's not too surprising that I would say this is my favorite amp for the moment, but it is. So there you go, my two cents on this uh, Bad Cat Cup 40R USA Player Series Model 2022. Right guys, I uh, hope you liked it and I would like to see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>